Compassionate Friends group is the newest support group of our Compassionate Friends. I'd like to tell you the story of how it got started, which is also my story and why I'm here. So you might ask, why me for the facilitator of this chapter? The truth is, I'm no stranger to sibling loss grief. In May of last year, on Friday the 13th, I was supposed to be in Flagstaff graduating from NAU, but instead, I was attending my brother's funeral. My brother Clint died in a climbing accident on Camelback Mountain. There are many ways that I can be chosen to deal with this devastating loss, if one can say that coming to terms with the death of a sibling is even possible. I chose to devote myself to public service and to spreading the word about Clint and how his needless death could have been prevented. In the two months following my brother's death, I started working with the City of Phoenix, developing more ways to raise safe hiking awareness. Since then, they decided to create a new trail writing system and put various safety signs on Camelback. It was when I started to realize just how much of an impact Clint's death would make on the world he cared so much about. If you ask me to list all the negative things about my brother's passing, I can make you one without hesitation. It was very difficult to find anything positive about my brother dying at 25 years old in such a drastic way. It still is. I kept repeating for months and months in my head. I just talked to him. He was just here. I questioned myself, our relationship, what it could have been, and what it would never be now. But finally, and especially with the focus that the city project brought me, I realized that I had to change. I had to start replacing the negative with something just a little bit brighter for Clint. I realized in order to have positive in my life, I would need to create the positive. Though I am proud of the work I've done to safeguard Clint's legacy, I knew I needed to supplement. I needed more healing than just work. I began attending a general grief group since his death, and it's helped me heal tremendously down this unwanted journey. Before long, I started to notice that the pain of sibling loss was very unique. And I'd often think about sibling loss groups and how beneficial it might be to have a group that was created specifically with coping with the loss of one so precious as a brother or sister. I started searching for sibling loss groups in Arizona but found none. This both shocked, saddened, and ultimately motivated me. Since I couldn't find a group to join, I decided <coughs> why not create one of my own. That is when I found Compassionate Friends. Since the founding, we've had three meetings. We have a lending library as well as various sibling handouts and a welcome packet. It is on the same night as the child loss meeting. We meet together during introduction and then split off into groups. The siblings have their own room. Every meeting we've had, everyone has shared. I believe this group is so crucial to a sibling's journey through loss because we strive to erase what we're known as, the forgotten mourners. I'm committed to this group, and most of all, I'm committed to every sibling that walks through that door. With each new member, I think this is another person who can help, even if it's just a little bit. I've also created the Facebook for the Mesa Tempe chapter. We are still growing, and I'm still spreading the word. I ask that you all do the same. Let others know about our message and our cause. <coughs> Let them know that there's help and a compassionate ear to listen and a friend to hug. Or if nothing else, a chair to sit in, and a little safety in knowing you're not alone. Your pain is not a burden, you need to bear it alone. Since my brother passed, I made the dedication to carry on his legacy and to help others through grief. We never get over our loss, and I don't believe I've accepted the tragedy that has ripped through my family. However, I did get 25 years with my brother, and although it was nowhere near long enough, he taught me lessons I'll never forget. In closing, I would like to read the sibling loss credo, but I would like to end this speech with a quote by one of my brother's favorite authors, Maya Angelou. I found that among its other benefits, giving liberates the soul of the giver. Here's the siblings' credo. We are the surviving siblings of the compassionate friends. We are brought together by the deaths of our brothers and sisters. Open your hearts to us, but have patience with us too. Sometimes we will need the support of our friends. At other times, we will need our family. We will need our families to be there. Sometimes we must walk alone, taking our memories with us, continuing to become the individuals we want to be. We cannot be our deceased brother or sister. However, a special part of them lives on within us. When our brothers and sisters died, 
Our lives are forever changed. We're living a life very different from what we envision. We feel the responsibility to be strong, even when we are weak. Yet we can go on because we understand better than others the value of family, the precious gift that life is. Our goal is not to be the forgotten mourners that we sometimes are, but to walk together to face our tomorrows as surviving siblings, the compassionate friends. Thank you.